ओके गूगल लेट्स डू दिस फाइनेंशियल प्लानिंग अगर मैं आसान शब्दों में समझाऊं तो इट्स अ रोड मैप टू अचीव ऑल योर फाइनेंशियल गोल्स बेसिकली आपको किसी भी गोल के लिए बी इट योर रिटायरमेंट बी इट गेटिंग रिड ऑफ लाइबिलिटीज राइट उस पर्टिकुलर गोल को अचीव कैसे करना है there are plenty of benefits of financial planning the first could be uh, financial security right of course agar aapne well thought out planning kar rakhi hai so you have also prepared for the worst measures second could be of course achieving your goals on time instead of you struggling at the last minute right everything has already been planned already been taken care of another benefit would be debt management financial planning revolves around the idea that in a long enough time horizon you should be focusing on increasing your assets and decreasing your liabilities okay so the fourth benefit would be tax planning of course in a well thought out financial plan tax planning is an integral part of it another benefit is investment planning when you have uh, set your financial goals you also know ke accordingly investment kaha hogi so there has to be a well thought out diversification in your portfolio The last benefit would be retirement planning. Instead of you being dependent financially in your old age, you have already thought everything through and you have enough purpose to sustain yourself. Uh I think I can summarize this using an acronym E R G R E. The first E stands for emergency planning. Ideally, you should always have 6 months of your expenses kept in a liquid asset that is immediately available to you the next r stands for risk planning that means that you should have adequate amount of life and health insurance to secure yourself from any worst situation coming your way the g stands for the goal planning so you segregate your goals according to the tenure and prioritize them and accordingly you start saving The fourth R stands for retirement planning. Once you are old and you are no longer working actively for an income, you need to have some money in savings that you can rely on. The last of the fifth E stands for estate planning. Will writing, making sure all your investments actively have nominees mentioned are some of the standard practices that everybody should follow. So there are basically two aspects what your need is and what your aspiration is for example uh retirement planning hamari need hai right whereas maybe buying a bigger car is our aspiration right so you have to prioritize what goals are the most important for you and you strategize uh, according to those goals right you calculate and accordingly then you start saving money and investing money creating a financial plan can be very technically challenging it involves a lot of calculations as to uh, what the impact of inflation is going to be on your goals what kind of savings you are going to need on a monthly or an yearly basis to achieve that targeted amount in case somebody has some liabilities it gets even more technical right at the same time saving tax uh, making sure there uh, is enough liquidity in the portfolio so in case you want to dive down deep and create your own financial plan you can always call us on this helpline number where a qualified advisor would be getting in touch with you and helping you do the math if you like watching this video subscribe to our channel for more similar content you can check out these ones